This movie is going to show you how to add your own sample library into Loop Cloud. With this free app from Loop Masters, you don't just get all the incredible benefits to sample management, browsing, and even editing and sequencing for everything in your Loop Masters account, but also with any samples in your personal collection too. So to add a samples folder on my hard drive into Loop Cloud now, I just click Add Samples on the top bar, then navigate to the folder and click Open. Loop Cloud then starts analyzing and automatically tagging samples to work out timing, pitch, format, and instrument type. At this point, I also get a window popping up to ask me if I want to upload the samples folder to cloud storage. So if I have a subscription, then I could choose to do that rather than keep the samples purely on my hard drive. However, I won't do that for the minute and I'll come back to it shortly. So you can see the samples folder now in my library and you'll notice that the folder icons are all blue, which is telling me that they're local files, so on my computer or external hard drive, not in the cloud. Any Loop Masters packs I own, as well as any free samples folders and the cloud storage folder are all black. So I know that they're in the cloud, not on my local system. And Loop Cloud will stay synchronized to any folders that I add. So if I drag a new folder into that same samples folder on my hard drive, Loop Cloud will recognize that and import it into the library as well. And similarly, removing a folder will make it disappear from Loop Cloud as well. Another way of importing samples, by the way, is to just drag and drop a folder into the main Loop Cloud window, clicking your library first to make sure that you're looking at your own samples. Although you can see Loop Cloud does most of the work for you, with instrument tags added when the file name contains them, as well as key and BPM info coming from the file name, or an audio analysis if not, there are some instances when you might want to make adjustments, like when a loop is tagged as half the speed it should be. I can correct this by right-clicking, going to the Analyze menu, and forcing it to detect the BPM within a certain range. Sometimes a one-shot in your collection might also have a misleading name, suggesting it's in a key like A, and also have lots of transients and appear to be a loop, in which case you can clear the key and BPM tags using the menu, as well as set it to one-shot. So there's lots of scope for getting the analyzer to do what you want. And all these commands can be applied to whole folders as well as individual samples. Furthermore, with the keyboard shortcuts facility and the prefs allowing assigning of all these search results and tagging commands, you can instantly tag up huge groups of samples without even going into any menus. More comprehensive tag editing can be done in the tag editor, which you can access by going to the menu and choosing to show the tag editor. This section displays tag information for the selected sample or samples. So checking out this guitar sample here. From the name, Loop Cloud can tell that it's a 160 BPM loop containing guitar chords. So you can see the BPM is labeled correctly there. And in the current tag section of the editor, we've got chord and guitar tags, as well as loop and wav. In addition though, it's detected a triplet timing, as it's a syncopated riff, and that it's in A. And if I play an A along in live, yeah, all good. This tag data can be completely customized though, so I could change the key by deactivating and activating keys on the keyboard, or using the major and minor switches, editing the number in the BPM section, or clicking on a cross to remove any tags. I can add that back though now by typing at the top. And you can see there are some other types of guitar there too that I might like to add. And perhaps also the genre, as this is from a jazz pack. Instead of doing this to individual samples though, it's going to be way quicker to tag all of the samples in this pack with jazz. So I'll click on the pack folder and then select the tag. And confirm that I want to add it to all samples in the folder. In the Tag Manager section at the bottom, you have all of the currently available tags, and these match what's available for selection when searching at the top of the Loop Cloud window, with all the same categories and so on. So with this folder of samples, all just named numerically, Loop Cloud has tagged them all with one shot and wav, but that's it. So I'll click on this Hits folder, and then tag them all up simultaneously with some relevant genres, like Electro, Hip Hop, and House. And I can remove tags with the same button if I change my mind. 
Let's add some instruments too, like Synth Stab and Effects Impact. Then you can see they're all nicely tagged up now. And I can right click on the headers and display all tags to have them shown in the results list too. And finally, you can add tags yourself in the manager. So for instance, I could put one in the additional category by right clicking on it, then choosing create sub tag and typing a name, then clicking save. This personal tag could then be allocated to all of the samples I've just imported into Loop Cloud by clicking on that root folder and clicking set next to the tag. And then I could do a randomized search through different loops from my collection only if I wanted to by choosing the personal tag in the additional category. Finally then, if you're on one of the subscription plans, then you can copy any of your samples to your very own cloud storage folder. Loop Cloud asks if you want to do this when you import samples, as we saw, but you can also do it by right-clicking and choosing from the menu, or just by drag and drop. And now, if I'm not on my local machine anymore, so my hard drive isn't connected, you can see Loop Cloud can't access the local samples anymore, but any I uploaded to the cloud are still accessible. So this is perfect if you want to access your own samples on the move. So some great features for consolidating your entire sample collection to make full use of Loop Cloud's easy tagging and managing facility and turbocharge your music production workflow.